If you were going to make a robot to smash the competitor to bits, what tooling would you use to make it? Well, I'm here in the MTD studio with Chris and this unreal piece of machinery to find out how it was made and what toolings we used to make it. So Chris, this has been seen on TV in the American version of Robot Wars, but how was it made and what tools were, made, were used to make it? So it's made out of a solid piece of aluminium. Um, so it's used the full range of our aluminium tooling from your solid carbide three fluters all the way through to your ball nose PCD tools. So I think we need to give a shout out to the guy who not only designed this, but machined it from the billet, like you said. So where has this come from? So this is from Robo Challenge, a gentleman called Grant Cooper. So he, he's completely CAD, CAD designed it and machined it all himself. And I just want to say this wasn't the only bit he did. He did a spine section as well, which is one of the best parts I think I've ever seen. So I think we've talked about Grant enough. Let's talk about your aluminium range because why you've got quite a portfolio of aluminium cutters. So why have you brought more to the market? It's just developing it further and further again. Um, customers are always wanting higher performance, lower cycle time, higher metal removal rate. So we've pushed the envelope a little bit more and we've designed this new tool, which is called the, the Skyliner. Now, obviously we've got the tools in front of us, which I've all got chip breakers on the flukes. But what happens if I want to finish with one of these tools as well? So we've got two ranges in the Skyline range. We've got the rougher, uh, which is the chip breaker, and we've got the finisher as well. So we, we, we've got both roughing and finishing. Now, something that's quite unique, you, may, you can correct me on that, is where were these tools actually designed and manufactured? So these are all made in, in UK, in Birmingham. So yeah, designed and manufactured on our machines at our manufacturing facility in Birmingham. So Chris, are these tools the same as you've sort of designed in the past? Have we got the same helix angles? Have we got the same flute spacing? Or are these a completely new design? They are a completely new design. So we've still got the unequal flute spacings and the unequal helix, uh, but they're completely different to, to what we've got on the market at the moment. Um, and it's also through coolant as well. So it, it just aids with swarf evacuation. Now, People at home will be looking at these tools sat on the table and hopefully wondering what one of the tools is because it looks quite different to the rest. So what can you tell me about the PCD tool and why have you brought one of these out for our aluminium? So this is our new PCD offering really. It's, it's from the diver range and it's got all the benefits that, that the diver range has. So you can ramp at, at steep angles, you can drill with it, you can hel hel helical pocket mill and um, face mill as well. So why would I use the PCD tool over a normal three fluted end mill? Um, you can get a higher RPM on there and you can get a better surface finish as well. So cycle time and tool life as well is a big factor in those. And I think like you were saying, looking at tool life and surface finish, even looking at the tools we have in front of us, I don't think surface finish is, is a problem for you guys at Goering. So if there's people at home who are having problem with aluminium, because don't get me wrong, Aluminium is a soft material, but it can still have its challenges with it being sticky, clogging up your tool and snapping. How can they get in contact with you to find out more about your new range of emeralds? If they send an inquiry to info at goering.co.uk, we can send out all the information to them. We can even arrange one of our engineers to visit them on site as well. Mm -hmm.